time to start packing because tomorrow I'll be doing something that's top secret and I've got to fly to another state to do it. Normally I like to share everything with you, but for this trip I'm not allowed to. Aww. But maybe if you follow along with me and my sister, you'll be able to work out why I'm so nervous. I'll be giving you some clues along the way and let's see if you can guess where I'm going before I might tell you. If you're lucky, I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe this year my airport outfit. It's got a tiger on it because my name's Sabre, Sabre Tooth Tiger, you know. Sometimes I wear it with these blue bike shorts and I wear them like underneath my outfit like this. Well, and these are really comfortable now, mm -hmm. which is good. And I'm thinking about maybe wearing this because the place where we're flying to is colder than where we live right now in Newcastle. And another clue is it's not overseas, it's still in Australia. Do you have any clue where I'm going so far? So this could be my airport outfit. The thing where we're going is either like really hot in the afternoon or like really cold in the morning slash night. And then I'm gonna wear this dress for like the first like business what can I say? I only don't say it and then give it away. But like, um, I'm gonna wear this dress when we get there. Then we check into the hotel and we've got something where we're meeting people. And I'm choosing to wear this. And it looks like this on. Ta-da! And I think I might wear it with these shoes. What do you think? They're like big new ones I got for my 18th birthday. If it gets cold, like sometimes the place we're going to that starts with C does. This pink houndstooth tweed like coat. And I can like button up. Like this. This is what I'm gonna be wearing to the briefing that happens on the first day, like to prepare for the meeting that's on the second day. It's so hard to explain where I'm going without giving it away. And then this is the dress that I'll be wearing for like the proper like business meeting. It doesn't look that nice off, but I'll show you how it looks on. Are you okay? I am wearing the dress right now. And have you noticed anything about this dress which looks a little bit different to what I normally wear? The neckline is really high and the hemline is really low. If you put two and two together, this is a very professional dress. Have you guessed where I'm going and what I'm doing there? I'll give you one more clue. It's only me, Socky and Papa going, so it's not a family holiday. It's kind of like um, getting get out for an important like meeting sort of thing. Just look at how much space that coat takes up. This is my favorite pair of denim shorts, are from one teaspoon. And here's my box of hair accessories. I feel like red looks really good in brunette hair. Do you agree with me? Time to take my makeup bag. A little while ago, I bought this like new makeup, like storage container thing. I've got to hurry up because I've got an appointment to get to in half an hour. My lip plumper it says it gives instant and long-term lip plumping. I feel like it's kind of true. Like my lips, they're not like mega plump, but this is when without like any lining or like lipstick or anything. But it does sting a little bit. So if you've got a good pain tolerance, definitely get that. But if you get very sensitive to like, you know, makeup products and that sort of stuff, just don't do it. Some concealer, bronzer, sunscreen, face and body foundation, my favorite mascara. I'm bringing my favorite eyeshadow palette. Definitely get this. It's 12 Australian dollars, I think. It comes with these shadows. I'm also bringing this palette that I got for Christmas. It got broken the last time I tried to bring it. Face stuff. Makeup bags packed. So cool, yeah, high five. High five. Time to get to the appointment. And then after the appointment, I'm gonna be getting my nails done by my professional nail tech, my little sister named Naz. You probably know her. She's really good nails. Then we'll be leaving tomorrow in the plane, and then we'll be getting there, and then you'll be working out what I'm doing. I'm here. Can you guess what I'm getting done? That's right, a lash lift, because I love lash lifts, and I only get them done on camera for some weird reason. It's been nine weeks since I got my last one done, that's why my lashes don't look as good as what they normally do. So, oh, look how pretty those candles are. If I was into candles, I'd definitely get one of these, but I don't. I'm scared to light a candle, because I'm scared I'm gonna burn my house down. Jasper, you see Plymouth? The lady who did so well, like, wow. Waiting for my Uber to come get me. I'm gonna go to Flizz's house, and guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get my nails done by my professional private nail tech. This is how she looks. Oh, I feel like my eyesight's getting worse and I really don't wanna have to get, not get glasses, but I really don't wanna have to get like the laser stuff. Okay, wait, I want you to film your reaction to it, <gasps> That's sick. Wait, you got me football? Oh my God, thanks, guys. It's amazing. Whoa. Ignore my messy handwriting legends. I have to do this really quick. Take the things you want. Actually, the funny thing is with handwriting, I feel like it's not really a base in how smart you are because my dad, like, Papa's got really messy handwriting, like me, but he's, like, gone to a selective high school yeah. and also won an Olympic medal. So I don't think your handwriting has anything to do with how smart you are. And if yeah. you've got bad handwriting like me and everyone's making you feel dumb for it, don't feel dumb because it, handwriting's got nothing to do with how smart you are. Take everything that you want, and obviously I'm not charging you any money for it. <laughs> Five dollars for nothing. Massages do that. Foot bath, yes. Hot water, yes. Music, yes! I agree to not move <laughs> for the next hour and not ruin Naz's hard work. Sometimes when Naz fully does my nails and spends like an hour doing them, like I somehow like touch something, they all like just 
peel off. So annoying. But I'll sign on the dotted line. Pick a color. <laughs> That basically the dresses I already showed you today. For a quick reminder, these are the dresses. I'm thinking maybe like a basic pink. I really always want to so get this nail polish done, and Nan is always against me doing this one. My professional nail tech. So sorry. <laughs> professional nail tech. I didn't get my nails done anywhere. Because I ever like mum says, oh, why don't you go and get your nails done somewhere else? I'm like, no, because I want to get them done. Because they're bloody expensive. Like I know, nails I'm saying Nancy does it like by herself You could bet anyone else You're nice but No, I'm not saying it's just making you feel nice I really believe you're better than anyone else Trying to get my hair out the way Oh no, I hate when she puts my cuticles back Ah! She's, yeah. She's got like this scary like medieval torture thing It's a cuticle cutter What are you doing, Sam? You're acting like I'm torturing you I'm a little bit nervous actually for tomorrow Because I'm going to be talking to important people there's a clue. Sometimes I start a conversation and I fully forget what to say and forget like how to say a sentence properly. I don't think you've ever done that. I think you've done, done it a couple. It's funny because I feel like all of us girls have very different tastes in guys. Yes, we're never gonna fight about a guy. No. Like Naz is in my one's a completely different. Plus Naz and me are six years apart, so that should be fine. And the thing with Socky, she wants a guy who's smooth. So I've decided to edit this footage today, but now that I'm watching me talk and I'm stuttering and it's making me so nervous for tomorrow, I'm like Am I gonna do that when I'm in the meeting? And the thing with Socky, she wants a guy who's who's shorter than I and I want a guy who's heaps taller than me. My type is someone who's just absolutely massive. Like tall and just super broad. There they are. Let me get a nice little shot of them. Look how pretty those are. That's not coming out. <laughs> Rubbing the royal feet. So gross. <laughs> Nancy, let me show you my nails. What do you think? Beautiful. Yeah, she did a good job. Very classy and professional, like what I want to go for with this trip. Yes, yes. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. Another one. Can you see that? That thing there, that like it's a bump? That's the skin cancer. Okay, good night. I'll see you in the morning where we'll go on the plane flight to, you know, a special place where I can't tell you exactly, but you might have guessed where we're going. Good night. Just went to the gym. So yeah, that's what happens when you have pale skin. You go like, look like you have an allergic reaction to exercising. <laughs> so that's what I It makes me so bad. But this is how the gym outfit looked like. I can't breathe, so I'm gonna go in the shower and not wet my lashes because they're not allowed to get wet. So I'm gonna have a shower, get dressed, maybe put on a little bit of makeup, and then we're gonna go. Just so wet a couple of paper towels with cold water, and I'm just gonna try to um, put it on my head to cool me down because I can't wet my face. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I think this is Timmy of Yoga Forever. If we weren't flying to this mystery place, then it would be five hour drive away from Newcastle. So I'm doing a little bit of an airport makeup routine. And another clue of where I'm going to is I'm a little bit nervous because I'm going to be speaking to some pretty important people. Makeup's done. And my battery ran out, so sorry, but if we're in a mad rush, I need to get there. Last thing I need to bring is a bunch of my favorite things Uncle Toby Muesli Bus. Dear Sokimi, I gotta go. I'm gonna miss you so much. Sokimi, I'm going on like a holiday. Are you staying with Mama? No, we're going with Papa. Mama, staying with you. Yeah. Mm. Tell Cham I said goodbye. There's Soki, she's ready to go. There's Papa. Can we say where we're going yet? To the airport. You'll find out in a second where we're going. What about any clues about exactly what we're doing when we get there? And are you excited for that or are you nervous? Nervous. Is it a clue that Socky's coming too? Like, and, and no one else. Why are the others coming? It's not a family holiday, it's like a something yeah. different. So Socky made a quick playlist called SNS songs for Socky and Saber songs. And then these are the songs we've added. Top five of mine, the bottom five of Socky's. There's a clue about where we're going. Check it out, chewy ones or the hard ones? <laughs> There's your answer. There's our private jet. Oh, we're just like welcoming a bunch of other people onto it. <laughs> the smallest plane we've ever been in. It's got like two seats here and then we've got one seat there. And we're off. If you take off in the landing, that's the scariest part. Like the most likely you are to like have a plane crash, but it's very unlike for TV. Someone looks like they're having a very comfortable sleep. This is actually our first home in Papa has actually lived here for five years before I was born for swim training. But Saki and me have actually never been Wow, so fancy. So we're trying to find our little like apartment right now and then I'm gonna give you a room tour. How are we gonna bring this up the fire escape? This is our room. 
<laughs> Yay! <I've got> <laughs> wow! So beautiful. Got like a fully like functioning kitchen and a massive dining room. So here's Soggy's in my bedroom. Looks like this, got two beds, a mirror, storage, and it's got a TV. And then we've got a shower. We've also got a little bit of this desk space over here. Papa gets a massive bed to himself. Ah! We're about to go do our big meeting. Oh, guess what it is, it's a mystery. Put your guesses in the comments. Catch you knuckles.